Uh, good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing this morning? We're at episode 30. That means for 30 weeks, we've been giving you nothing but good uh, content and also ways to uh, invest in tech, save money, do whatever you're going to do with your money, but most definitely stack your skills as well. If you're new to our channel, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, also, hit the notification bell as well, too. We have two shows, one at 11.30, which is Tech Stocks and Jobs, which is what you're watching right now, where we go over you know, um, different IPOs, ETFs, and there goes my earring, <laughs> ETFs, uh, at different, uh, at different uh, funds, and as well as um, what uh, companies that are on the horizon. Uh, we got a, a good show today on some some startups. Let me take this one off as well, too, for it falls. Uh, we got some uh, startups that I want to look at um, and as well as uh, get you uh, interested into like what their technology is behind them. Um, if you've never been to our website, check out our website, womeninlinux.org, where we uh, pretty much go over a, a lot of stuff. We need to update our content. I know that much. Uh, but if you want to uh, connect with us, you can connect with us on Slack. If you click on this, I have Slack on here, so it's going to automatically take me to Slack. Um, but if you connect here, you'll have to create a uh, a Slack account, and you'll have to have Slack on your actual whatever machine or phone that you're using. And then you can connect with us there where we have content over, I think we got over uh, 60 or 70 channels that talk about scholarship conferences, jobs, what is the federal government doing, uh, government contracting, I mean, you name it, we talk about it. Um, if you want to uh, actually shop with us, that's cool. You can shop with us. You can hit click shop on our on our website and then go and collect uh, some merch, give it to a child, someone's coming up, whatever the case may be. Uh, another thing that you could do on our website as well too is you can always donate. You don't have to donate with your with your money. Um, you can donate with your time. You can spread the word. You can retweet. You can also come in and do uh, join us as a as a guest host on Tech Stops and Jobs if you're feeling froggy uh, and want to uh, share some information. Uh, you can also be um, on a podcast. So there's just different ways to donate other than here. Um, as far as money, you can donate with your time. You can also donate by shopping um, if, if you so, so choose. You can also sponsor someone uh, with, with Women in Linux, and we'll talk about more about that um, later on, uh, probably on the next show. Maybe not this weekend, but next weekend. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, and I, let me give a special shout out to everybody this morning. That was Bane. How you doing? Takesha, how you doing? Kevin, what's going on with you? Uh, saw somebody else up here. Chris 1.5, how are you this morning? I uh, hope y'all uh, enjoyed the stream last night. Uh, those that were that are part of Women in Linux, it was not a Women in Linux stream. It was another stream that I was on, the leading attorney. Uh, just, you know, just giving my, I don't want to say opinion, just a different perspective on life. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so um, let's knock the merch. All uh, right, so the first company that I want to look at, um, this is it, and I and I want to also talk about some overseas investments too. I have, I don't know if I still have that that newsletter, but I'll bring, I'll see if I can bring it up. But anyway, uh, Tim Hortons, um, China, is said to be in a in a in a spec uh, near uh, one point eight billion. All right, so and I need to blow this up probably. If you can see it, yep, yep, yep. All right, so there, there's a joint venture branch, uh, joint brand venture uh, operating Chinese branch of, of a Canadian um, coffee chain. So they're in this back with a uh, silver uh, crest acquisition, and it is also backed by a sedent, a sedent of uh, capital partners, a private equity firm focused on Greater China. And remember, we talked about this before, like what is a private equity firm? How do you build one? How do you create an ETF? And actually, I'm a, I got some content that I, I want to share with you today about uh, some ETFs that are being created. So we, we got a, a lot to get into. But in here, you can see Cartesian is a major shareholder in 
in Burger King, China, which has grown to more than 1,300 restaurants. So this one is a, it's a coffee shop. So let's go like what we do normally on Tech Stocks and Jobs. We see Tim Hortons. And what I like to do is, you know, go to their website um, and check out their jobs. And the reason why I like to check out their jobs is because I like to see, um, I like to see uh, what what is the technology behind them, right? So let's go in here and see if we can find careers. So maybe at the bottom, let's see. Investors, investors, no, no careers. Investors, franchising. So I guess you can get a franchise. Let's go and see what else we got here. Cause it's a coffee shop so i wonder what they what they have set up on the back end all right industry leader why own a franchise to set franchise stories approval process available markets let's look at that all right so they're here and um priority new markets are florida texas illinois california um, and they are they're already in existing markets here so let's let's see what we what we got here receive training Built in, blah, blah, blah. David Beaton. Experience of finally. Hold on. D said, check the private chat. Hold on. Let me check the private chat and get the uh, jobs. Here we go. But again, if you want to make your money in tech and invest, in, and invest inside of a company or something of that nature, here's a, here's a franchise to invest in. All right. Let's go check out their careers in English. Come on, you can do it. The radio button is not working. Who created this? There we go. Good God. All right. Let's see. Why join the team? Apply now. Sure. Come on. You can do it. All right. So it looks like I think these may be just see job opportunities. All right, here we go. A restaurant team member, a designated trainer, a team supervisor, res restaurant manager, an assistant restaurant. So yeah, I, I figured that they probably contract their work out. They probably buy their POS system from somebody and they probably have somebody else maintain um, all their stuff. I wonder what they use for inventory and so forth. Um, let's see, let's check out the corporate opportunities. See Tim Hortons, Burger King, and Popeyes campus. All right, here we go. All right, technology. Our team. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, here we go. Engineering manager, technical interviews. All right, let's go in here and check out engineering. Oh, that's their that's their pro, that's their flow. Here is how the technology team hiring process works. All right, you go through the recruiter interview, um, and then you have your technology, I mean, your engineer manager, your technical assessment. I wonder what they use for a technical assessment. Let's see. Our tech stat is JavaScript with React and Node.js. I wonder what cloud they're in. And then you have their technical interview, and then people, business leadership, and offering decisions. So let's keep going. Join us. Man, this is the most complicated place I had to look for a job. You get lost. Job search. All right, here we go. All right, uh, a manager, a calendar planning. They have 185 jobs. Let me filter on, oh, they got 23 in technology. Okay, here we go. Software development, product, uh, consumer technology, product designer, uh, senior product manager, senior back end engineer, senior engineer, um, software, JavaScript. I'm trying to see if they got anything related to security, privacy officer, uh, senior director, restaurant technology. Let's look at that. Oh, here we go. Senior security engineer. All right, let's check it out. All right, so um rbi is one of the world's largest quick service companies with more than 32 billion in system sales uh wide 26,000 restaurants uh the restaurant brand international is looking for a senior director of technology to join our technology based in zur switzerland so it's in switzerland 
Let's see what they're talking about here. Roles and let's see, required skills. Hold on. Uh, bachelor's degree, 15 years of experience managing software development, 10 years of POS software experience, experience managing development teams, work globally and, uh, and across time zones, cloud computing. They left that very general there. Uh, agile, CICD, and automated testing, of course. Um, let's look at uh, bachelor's degree in um, they do require a bachelor's degree in a, or related major. Um, facilitate local testing, build a pipeline of markets to adopt their POS system. So these are the people doing the POS system. If you wanted to know who that was, it is Restaurant Brands International. Um, let's go back one and let's look at their senior engineer, the senior security engineer. Could I not go back? Guess not. Oh, here we go. Explore jobs. Nope. Let's see. I'll go back to the link you had, D. We'll go back. Here we go. Thank you. All right. Manager compensation. Manager franchise. Let me look up here and make sure I'm still filtered. I am not. All right, back in, it was on the second page. Privacy, I'm gonna look at the senior security. This one is in Miami. All right, so for this particular one, let's scroll down here. Three years of experience with uh, cybersecurity, experience with uh, architecting and deploying security solutions, functionality, experience with functionality, Firewalls, IPS, uh, WIDS, SWAFs, uh, SEAMS, DLP, RMS, vulnerability scanners, web proxy, endpoint security, network security experience a plus, knowledge of IT configuration management. Uh, when I hear knowledge of IT configuration management, I immediately go to Ansible Chef Puppet. Um, endpoint defense, and now if they're, if they're, if they should be in the cloud, uh, they also should be looking at probably APIs as well too in the in those security around APIs, patching and updates, ability to interact and communicate, ability to prioritize, uh, bachelor's degree, prefer certifications but not require CISSP, CEH, and Security Plus, and the Security Plus and the CEH really are their two baseline security certific certifications that you can get. And then move into your CISSP. With your CISSP, I think you need five years and a sponsor um, in order to uh, to uh, take your t exam. Well, in order to be sort of to get your CISSP, not just to take your exam. All right. So let me see anything up here that's really just standing out um, as far as like roles and responsibilities. Uh, here we go. Strong knowledge of Microsoft Active Directory environments, AWS, uh, Office 365, VM servers, VDI, and other enterprise system applications. Okay, so I'm looking here. They're probably using Active Directory. Uh, AWS are probably using some Linux boxes as well, too. And they're probably having those authenticate to, to th through Microsoft. VM servers, that sounds like VMware, it could be KVM or Rev, but uh, VM servers, that sounds like VMware to me. VDI, it's most definitely uh, re remote desktop where, you know, I mean, you know, you're, you create your desktops and people log in, so they have their, you know, their remote desktops and other enterprise system solutions. So uh, that sounds like a VMware AWS Active Directory shop uh, to me, uh, probably some mixed in Linux in there somewhere. Uh, for some of their servers, uh, just my just my initial looking at that. All right, so what we just went over was um, a do 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 was Tim Horton. Any, I don't know if we got any questions. Let me double check here. Let me double check. Uh, I wonder what the back end engineer is. What technology? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I just went over that. We figured out what that was. React and um, uh, JavaScript. And then they're they're in AWS as well too. So uh, immediately I start thinking about the different pipelines that they'll probably create and so forth. So well, that would be my my view of them. All right. So that's them. So the next one up we have is this is a company out of Vietnam. 
All right. A company out of Vietnam. Let's go here. All right. So uh, the GIC backed Vietnam tech firm said to mold uh, mold a U.S. three billion dollar SPAC merger. Three billion dollar SPAC. SPAC merger. Vietnam's VNG, VNG group, um, whose investors include a, a, a Sing Singaporean sovereign wealth fund, GIP PT, GIC PTE, is considering going public in the U.S. Uh, through a reverse merger with a blank check. So they're being evaluated in the U.S. It says, hold on, a transaction could value VNG at two, two to $3 billion in the U.S., all right, so VNG uh, Corp. So the is is backed. Uh, uh, the, I don't know who the, who's doing the backing here. Was it VNG Corp? Whose investors include blah blah blah? Who I wonder if anybody's backing. And so this is what I've been seeing this week. Uh, the online gaming technology. There was uh, uh, there was it's it's legal. Uh, online betting is legal in thirty two states. I think four more states were added this week. Uh, so uh, the online gambling is blowing up. Of course, you know about DraftKings already, but there are uh, there are a lot of companies expected to come out, and which is really huge because I know uh, this is an old story, and I don't know if anybody ever remembers this, but there was a company, and this happened like this happened 15 years ago. Anyway, they were doing on maybe it's longer than that. Uh, they were doing online gambling. And how it was not legal in the United States. And what they did was they set up their online gambling uh, servers to be housed in the Cayman Islands so that you could still gamble here as long as the transactions were not being, a, weren't, weren't, wasn't transactional in the United States. Of course, they made buku money. The United States then. Uh, try, you know, went after them and what they, they couldn't get them out of the Cayman Islands. What they did was they said, hey, anytime you decide to come back to the United States, we're going to arrest you. And uh, what they did was they just went ahead and set up shop inside of the Cayman Islands. So any family members or anything of that nature had to come see them in the Cayman Islands. And then they were starting to block the families from coming to see them in the Cayman Islands as well too. And one guy, he was like, I'm just gonna take the, the fall for the team. He's like, I lived my life, whatever, whatever. And he hopped on the plane and he came back to the United States. As soon as he got back to the, as soon as he landed, they, they arrested him and put him in jail for 15 years. But now online gaming is, uh, is, is, is it's legal in the US. So I don't know what happens to that guy. Did it go back and say, hey, you know, you can get out of jail? I don't know. But that's why that's to me is very interesting um to to see what was then and what is now. All right. So let's go check out uh our next one. Let's see. I would check out uh Vietnam uh group, but I was like I, I got some other stuff that we can go look at a little later. All right. So I thought this was was interesting. Um, interesting, um, uh, Concordium and SWVL announced a partnership for blockchain-based mass transit systems. All right, and so um, this one comes out of, uh, the news comes out of Switzerland and Dubai, it says Con Concordium, a leading blockchain technology company with SWVL, a Dubai-based provider of mass transit, and shared mobility solutions today announced a strategic partnership partnership for the first time using blockchain che technologies to develop, excuse me, the next generation of managed transit. So then it got me to thinking about, well, are we doing any anything like that here? So uh, SWVL is a is a global tech startup based in Dubai. Um, they they uh, fully diluted equity value of approximately 1.5 billion. Um, and on July 28th of this year, they announced uh, going to a definitive agreement with Queen's Gambit Capital. Uh, and that, that's traded on the NASDAQ as, and, and under GMBT, and we can look them up here quickly. But I just want, D can drop 
this uh, link in here in case you all wanted to look read more about it. But for right now, let's go check out GMB over at uh, Yahoo Finance, GMBT, and let's see what, what they got going on. All right, Queen's Gambit. All right, I thought I, I I thought I think I looked them up before. We can see here, uh, one month there was a big dip here. That that you see that it went from nine sixty five all the way at a peak of nine eighty five. So let's see, and they've been they were around about nine eighty two there. All right, so they got a big dip there. So let's look and see what else we got on here. Uh, SWVL. Let's check them out. Let's see careers. All right. All right. Craft a dream job. Uh, let's view their openings. Um, let's see any locations. Looks like they're all overseas. United uh, Emirate, Arab Emirates. It uh, looks like they're all overseas here. Let's just do worldwide. All right, if we did worldwide, you can see Android software engineer, back end software engineer, front end. Um, a lot of Androids uh, here is what I'm seeing. That's all I see. Uh, here's a site reliability engineer. I see some iOS, a senior operations research. Let's look at the SRE role. Probably typical role. All right. Uh, SRE role. Let's see. Develop and integrate tools and scripts. Spread SRE culture. Implement automation tools. CI CD. Hands on. Integrate. Uh, they're doing Kubernetes. Uh, so you'll be deploying applications, probably making sure the cluster is up, back up the cluster, uh, making sure the application is up. Uh, Probably have to run some security in that as well too. Develop and deploy, optimize the infrastructure and external services. Set up caching, data stores, make changes to code to integrate them. Assure required security level for infrastructure data stores. Uh, perform root cause analysis. Probably post post um, mortems. Or po yeah, post mortems. Work closely and support the dev team. Contribute to both infrastructure and microservice design. Okay, what skills do they look like they want you to have? A list. All right, so three to five years of solid uh, S -S SDLC, strong knowledge of cloud uh, providers, mainly AWS, Unix, Linux containers, Docker containers, Kubernetes, Helm charts, KOps, um, experience with databases, including MySQL, MongoDB, Elasticsearch, CICD principles and architecture, understanding of the OSI model, seven layers, should be able to rattle that off. Y'all should be able to rattle that off in the comments. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Packer and Ansible, so they're making machine images. They're probably using uh, Puppet and Ansible. There may be a transition there um, with Puppet and Ansible. There may be some old technology. There may be some old technology. Who knows on that? Familiar familiarity with uh, messaging systems like RepidMQ, Kafka is a must sense of ownership and good communications. So that's what they're, that you got an idea of what, one, what their tech stack is, what they're looking for uh, in terms of troubleshooting, what kind of tools they're using, such as uh, um, not uh, configuration as code, but we didn't, I didn't see anything in terms of infrastructure as code, except for their, if they're using Packer, uh, they're probably gonna be using Terraform as well too. Uh, to deploy, they may be using cloud formation. Who knows? Um, but it's one of the two. We know they're in AWS, but it says mainly AWS, so that tells me there are other cloud providers that they interact with. And so, if you want to keep the stress down on your team, you're probably going to pick something like Terraform, so you can go in between. Unless you have dedicated teams that only work in Azure and only work in AWS or GCP or whatever that cloud may be. Um, so that would be my view on that. All right, next up, uh, this one, I just wanted, this one doesn't come out of a SPAC. Um, this is off of TechCrunch. Um, this one is...
server that my laptop crashed on me. <laughs> so I switched laptops. All right, let's get back to it. Let me uh, let me get my screens and stuff back organized so I can pull out my uh, what we were talking about. I forget where we were at. Hold on. I know we was looking at third AI, which is a hardware-based AI company. And I'm, and the reason why I was touting that company um, is because we at, we're, we're having a, uh, in terms of chips, right? We got a shortage of chips. Um, so that, right, I'm on a Mac. Um, we got a shortage of chips. So, you know, when you have a shortage of chips, you know, people get very innovative uh, when it comes to stuff. So let me get my other screen going over here. So we can get get going. All right, here we go. I can move this off. Sorry about that. All right. Share my screen. All right, third AI. All right, here we go. All right, third AI. All right, so they're looking to democratize uh, 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 AI to any hardware, right? So um, I'm not sure where this company is out of. Probably out of California. We'll see Houston-based uh, company building tools to speed up deep learning technology with the need without the need for specialized hardware like gpus um so you're gonna start to see more and more of this uh because what i'm being told and and i'm looking at this from a car a car perspective what i'm being told at different car dealerships uh is that um the car dealerships are no longer going to push out like having like 150 cars on the lot because they don't have the chips, right? So there'll be need to order in, in terms of cars. So now you'll be waiting for your car maybe what one to three months, depending on it, depending on where it's coming from, inventory or cars that are in route and, and what have you. But on the flip side of that as well too is um, the actual. Uh, process of making those chips and where those chips are coming from, right? So now I can see more and more companies uh, starting. We already seen we've already seen Apple make theirs, the 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 M1, the Mach One or the M1 processor. Uh, you're gonna start to see uh, more companies like an AWS or uh, uh, more companies like Google start going down this trend. Uh, in terms of, uh, of of creating their own uh, baseline, not just their own chip, but not being reliant on those chips. So you're going to start to see more companies like this. So let's go check out. Let me see if it just takes me to their company. Yep. All right. Hardware, free, scalable, and sustainable sustainable AI. All right. So they, they've raised $6 million. Here's, here's what they look like. Let me see. Careers. Uh, oh, they just got to apply now. Uh, but here they said we're hiring all AI engineers, coders, coders at all levels. And they say you need to have a degree. It didn't say you need to have 30 years of experience. It didn't say none of that. It says who are strong in C++, Python, and parallel programming. And I talked about this uh, parallel programming, but we'll go back into it um, a, a little bit more. Um and we should look at um, we should look at uh, edX for for this um, when we're talking about parallel programming, so you can get uh, an idea about it um, and and a class on it. So let's go here. Let's go to edX.org. You get uh, well, I like I like edX.org because you get different schools like Harvard, you know, Berkeley, over 160 different schools that post their stuff. So let's go here and type in parallel programming. All right, so what I see is uh, NoSQL, 
big data, statistics, R, linear models and matrix algebra, procedural modeling, uh, different case studies. That's what I'm pulling back here. All right, let's go back out here on the internet and see what we have. Introduction to parallel uh, computing, a tutorial. And remember I was talking about high performance computing last week and edge computing. You notice that when I pull this up, what pops up, right? Verizon AWS edge computer. You notice that pop right on up, right? So um, let me go back. Uh, introduction to uh, uh, high performance uh, parallel computing and high performance computing, right? Uh, I don't know if this is still around. Let me look up um, Condor uh, HPC. Let me see if that project is still around. I don't think it is. See, overview of HTC, uh, HT Condor high throughput computing system. Um, Condor was one of the ones that was used back in the day. Another, another, uh, Another location that that's really big into high performance computing is the is uh, the uh, University of Oregon, uh, Oregon. Uh, they have a big open source project, and you can you can actually rent space if you had some some work some jobs or something that you want to do um, uh, on their stuff. So research for advanced uh, computing services. They have a whole um, a whole lab and everything. Uh, they've been around for decades, uh, lending hands, like say if I, if I was doing research, uh, at university of Washington and they didn't have the capacity or the department didn't have the capacity, I could call up, you know, Oregon and say, Hey, I have this and I want to utilize your computer, blah, 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 blah. So they, they these different, uh, these, you know, you're going to find a lot of, uh research in in a in a lot of the schools that are using parallel computing uh so i wouldn't be surprised if they're hiring people straight out of uh while they're in college uh to come work and do stuff like that i uh, say so if you want to build a next generation of ai tools beyond what it is if you feel like time is going to draw time to go to the drawing board drawing board rewrite deep learning systems from scratch that's what you get there all right so that was third ai uh, the next company um, here, let's go here. Uh, Sequoia uh, leads a $13 million investment in Alto. What I looked at this is an online marketplace that lets homeowners sell directly to buyers. So instead of using uh, Zillow or whatnot, you get the homeowners that want to sell directly to, to, you know, to the buyers, which is pretty cool. Well, when I think of this, I think of, I immediately think of uh, data science and scraping and AI as well, too, when we're, when we're talking about this, uh, when you're looking at this company. And let's go and check out, um, let's go, let's go check out this company, double A-L-T-O. All right, let's see what we get here. selling and buying start listing how we work let's see they got 100 percent uh paid health insurance paid vacations and holidays family leave uh robust savings and insurance plan or frequent employee events all right so they got a product engineer product designer and sales engine and sell uh martin sales they have market operations coordinator. So let's look at their product engineer. And let's make this a little bigger. All right. Let's go down here. Your tech stack. Our modernization, our modern stack, stack utilizes React, Node.js, Cypress, Node, Postgres, Docker, Kubernetes, and Google Cloud platform. So they're in GC, they're in uh, GCP, they're probably using JKE um, to deploy their nodes. So understanding um, zones, av availability zones, understanding um, probably Postgres inside of GCP, Docker containers, Cypress. If you never play with Cypress, you can just go here, uh, type in Cypress, uh, and uh, I think they got it where we at. 
right? Uh, so Cypress, uh, getting started with Cypress component testing, right? Um, and GCP, remember, we've already gone over GCP. You can just hit uh, cloud. Uh, if you've got a Gmail account, you can just hit cloud.google.com. It'll take you right to your uh, GCP, and then you can hit console, and you'll be in. So that's what they have. So this next one, I really like this one. This probably reminds you of Black Mirror. All right. Here into the eyes of the cyber dog. All right. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm sure I'm not sure how to say the name. I'm gonna say Exomi, uh, Xiaomi. I'm not sure. Was launching its own robot dog. My mind immediately went into Sony's ABO. Yep, yep. So they're launching a dog. Bad look, bad, Black Mirror jokes, right? Uh, that's what the cyber dog looks like, right? uh this is the is the far from the first coming to release a quadruple um robot there are a number of companies that have done it cyber dogs for raise quadruple let's check out cyber dog look at cyber dog yeah that's what you want in your house right <laughs> that's what you want in your house you want a cyber dog in your house, right? All right, so let's go check out. Uh, let's go check out the technology behind this company. Let's go check out and see, you know, what they're hiring for. Just, just uh, my my immediate look at this. I'm looking at um, AI. I'm looking at some some computing here. Uh, I'm looking at uh, someone in you know designing the actual form of the dog. Um, what does that look like? You know, you know, what kind of ASICs are they using? Measuring distance, so forth, collecting this data, analyzing this data. That's what I'm immediately seeing. But let's go check out old CyberDog and what's going into CyberDog, right? Um, yeah, see, yeah, it says, uh, Xiaomi's design team clearly just leaned in and went full on Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> all right not to be confused with boston dynamics all right so let's look up this company here um and type in careers let's see mi okay yeah mi.com is the website and based out of singapore i hate how that showed up all right i don't know why that showed up that way let me go let me do this kill my computer again on this one i didn't even have nothing open on the other one it was just and like me let me see if we can get firefox open all right open on the, on my other screen all right now let's drop this in there yeah it still shows up the same way on firefox all right but nevertheless let me see what we what we're looking at here view all positions then link it to linkedin all right they have a phone all right recent job openings see all jobs we got an information technology engineer this i can't read sock methodology that sounds like security Let's go with this one. Oh yeah, something I can't read. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's go see if we can go back out here, All right here, see if we got anything over here. See if somebody link us somewhere else. Yeah, let's look here. So we have a program manager we have a tax manager trade marketing explore the jobs here government affairs um looks like all uh, these looks like all the jobs in support engineer or manager let's go support engineer junior technical support engineer based in Dus Dusseldorf 
uh, be a key member of the German technical team. Uh, let me look. Engineering degree preferred in electronics, telecommunications, knowledge of mobile phone and IoT. It's a, it's a little different than what I was looking for for that, but this is a different type of position. Let's go back and see all what they have here. Trade marketing, government affairs, e-commerce, uh, and retail. I don't know. We have to look. I have to look around for their jobs dealing with the with the uh, with the uh, cyber dog. I thought that was interesting. All right, so now my next one I want to get into. Um, let me see which one's gonna be a good one because I got a lot and we went down, so I need to kind of stop your stream soon. But I don't want to cheat you all out of this um, information. So let's go here. All right, construction startup. Um, Agora raises $33 million in a Tiger Global deal led around amid um, 760 uh, YOY ARR growth, right? So they're a startup that, that um, builds material materials pl uh, management platform from contractors. Let's go look and check them out. Uh, purchasing, field, project managers, accountants, and leadership. Let's go here. Hold your field and vendors accountable. Um, let's go and look and see what we got in terms of careers. All right. Senior product manager, software engineer, integration, sale, uh, UI, UX, senior manager for talent, the sales engineer. Don't forget, you all can make sales. You know, you can make money in sales engineer. Some of them are making anywhere from three to 500 a year. So, you know. Don't dis don't discredit sales. All right. Um, let's look at their software engineer. Uh, for you, Kevin, I'm gonna look at software engineer manager. Let's go check that out. All right. All right. Lead a team five to eight people. There's a difference between leading five people and eight people. Uh, engineers uh, to scale our integrations to thousands of customers. Own delivery day to day. Recruit and retain. Mentor and direct senior uh, software engineers uh, build diverse and distributed teams. They want you to have an idea of looking to see what what else are they in. I just see TypeScript, GraphQL, No, Postgres, Wordverse, proven track record, uh, BS, MS, and computer science. Um, third party expertise in hiring, and executing, and, and fast growing startup. So, eh, I mean, I didn't see nothing too hard about that. When you're talking about a software engineer manager and integrations, that didn't seem too complicated. Um, but you could check them out, they can drop that link. Uh, I did want to bring um, this up. Do, do, do. All right, talk desk valuation jumps 10 billion with a series D for smart contact centers. So they haven't IPO yet, right? Um, they are a cloud based contract center software announced 232 million in series D with a valuation of 10 billion. Uh, here's their CEO, I guess, Taigo Pavia, a Pava. Uh, there are new investors, well, rock capital management. All right. So let's go, let's go check them out. Uh, they're, they're San Francisco based. And I don't know if everybody saw that. Uh, I know Kevin posted it and I posted it too about the, speaking of just AI here, uh, the, the way you can get your nails done with the, with the, with the AI machine. I think D had looked it up. I think you could, I don't know, D, you can correct me or wrong. You can drop in the comments if you could lease it or whatnot. But don't think people are not going to be using it just like they use the Q2 nail and uh, Nimble. Don't think that people are not going to start using that to get their, to do nails and stuff. All right, so talk this. All right, so let's go and look at careers. Let's see, you got blog, events, leadership, news, awards. Customers, let's see, I don't see careers. 
So let's look at talk desk. Let's go over here, talk desk careers. Here we go. All right, see all jobs. All right, what they have on their site, we got back in, um, back in, back in. We got some finance, sales development. We hop down on solutions, CX strategist. Here we go, data engineer AI. It's in Portugal. Um, data engineer, a demo engineer, solution and shared services. Um, marketing. And the rest looks like sales. Here we go. Engineer, enterprise sales engineer. That's in Italy. Enterprise solution engineer. Here, let's check that one out. Read more. All right. So skip down what you'll do. There's a little bit about the job. So solutions engineer, pre-sales support, partner with the sales team, attend sales calls. Uh, review RFPs, plans, conduct five years or more experience with the at the contact center. Uh, understand sales process strategies and solution selling. Dig into issues and problems to understand the underlying cases. Basically, how to sell. Well, what else you could sell to them? Create convincing proposals and documentation. And that is an enterprise solution engineer, right? Basically, you're on the calls, uh, trying to promote and sell the product. Let me check the comments here. What's going on, Keep It Techie? How you doing? Hi, everybody. Hi, Natasha. Uh, Chris, there's nothing wrong with being new to the tech industry. All right. Make sure I didn't have any, anything else. All right. So this is going to be uh, my last one, hopefully. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with lithium. And... I want to talk about this. This is getting into uh, a stock here. So in the infrastructure bill, uh, they're looking at lithium to really, really take off. Why? Because that's what's been fueling the EV market. And so in this article, they talk about different nations that are on the rise uh uh, with lithium, and they they point out what you know where the drilling and uh, you know that search is at, and you know you can see up here in, in um, Nevada. All right, but what was also interesting about this, and I'm going to scroll through some stuff here, uh, is the companies. Right, follow it says follow the lithium money. Uh, what is going on to replace lithium? The answer is I don't know, but the following money. And the look where the big boards are investing billions. They are throwing billions at lithium and some throwing a little money at a solid state uh, lithium. So I thought these companies that are throwing money at it were interesting from the perspective of what are you going to do with the lithium, right? And so um, this is a penny stock here, uh, $1.3 billion to lithium battery projects. Uh, Rio uh, Tinto, and you can see here's their tickers uh, 2.4 billion into lithium, Nissan 873 8 billion into the Euro investment factories, uh, Stellantis 30 billion, Volkswagen 86 billion, BMW 32 billion, Ford 22 billion by 2025, CATL 5.1, General Motors 2.2, GM. I guess this is another GM, uh, GM, two billion, uh, Tennessee plus a one hundred and fifty-three billion in upgrades. Just part of the twenty billion dollar plan over the next five years. Toyota, Toyota, two two billion. Porsche, six hundred eighty-seven million. Fisker, uh, one billion. Northvolt was six hundred million, and then the list goes on. Seven seven point four billion with Hyundai. A Hyundai, um, but again, these are these you have to look and see like these are all going into electric, right? And so, what what is the electric space going to look like in five years? With a lot of companies going all electric, I think uh, Jaguar is set to go all electric. Um, I know, I, I think I heard a rumor and may may already be in the works that 
Lamborghini is working on an electric car. Um, so, you know, it's going to, what is the future of going to look like, you know, five years from now uh, when we're talking about electric? So these are just companies just to be looking out for. Uh, you don't have to invest in them, but just know, you know, where they're headed, especially in the car market with the way the car market is. And the I'm hearing rumors that the car market is not going to be the same as it was before. Cars are flying off the ship, but it's just not going to be the same as it was before. Um, oh, yes, this company. Another one that's on the rise is uh, Platinum. Um, the Anglo-American. This was the company that was uh, that was on the rise here um, in terms of Platinum uh, shooting through the roof. Um, but this co particular company was one of the companies. Um, let me go here start your search just select a country sure uh do 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 do, do. Uh, united states is fine see they got data analytics engineering so we can do that and i wonder if i can select both yep and then return me anything. No jobs found. It's clear filters. All right, with no filters, we got an electrical engineer, laboratory assistant, coal operator, development, development engineer, element six. What is a development engineer? All right, we're looking for motivated, enthusiastic, ambitious, a development engineer in the role. The project lead would be required to perform technical analysis, process design, hands-on development, testing, and implementation of a range of, of process in engineering based. Um, they talk about production of diamond, diamond and diamond-like products. Uh, developing new techn technologies by Developing external contacts and networks and facilitate CAD drawings. Uh, so that's what a development engineer is. They're requiring you to have a bachelor's, a master's, or a doctorate in mechanical engineering. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right? That is what a development engineer is. I never heard of what a development engineer was, and now I know. All right? And I think... I think that's all. I, oh, yeah. I wanted to talk about this. And I'll leave that last one off the. All right. So remember earlier I was saying uh, floodgates open on mutual funds converting into ETFs. So um, here is what I was talking about. Um. Um, there's on Wednesday, JP uh, Morgan Asset Management announced plans to convert about 10 billion in US mutual funds into ETFs. The latest in the trend that could set and accelerate. The plan will create active transparent ETF structures out of four uh, current mutual funds, JP Morgan International Research uh, Equity, uh, Enhanced Equity Fund, JP Morgan Market Expansion Enhanced Index Fund, the, Re the Realty Income Fund, and then the Inflation Managed Bond uh, Fund. So just be on the lookout for some of these companies uh, taking and rolling over their mutual funds into ETFs. Um, and here's more on the story they're, they're, of what they're talking about, uh, what ha what's going on and how they're doing it. D can drop the link in the chat and you can read more about it. There, J.P. Uh, Morgan is not the only one. Um, there are other companies that are that have already done this, and it's going to be, like I say, a trend as they start converting these mutual funds over. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. Let me double check, and make sure we don't have no questions. Yeah, Cody Path. It sounds like engineering, but one engineering. How are you doing this morning? Uh, NC Worker. Good afternoon. Uh, Let's see who's some somebody else. I saw something else. Oh, come to create 
come in, create a few variables, some comments and codes, and call it sounds good. Yep, yep. Uh, yes, the nail painter. Uh, let me make this a little smaller. I can't see you all over here. Let me come bring this over to here. Well, I should bring it over here. Not on the screen. There we go. It, it adjusted. Uh, the websites are listed in the browser. Yep, yep. TechCrunch. Tech we can we can post these links. Uh, I just wanted you all to, to see what's going on in the world. Platinum, um, lithium, with the lithium ba batteries. We should probably break down more of the companies that are coming out of this infrastructure deal with Biden, not just the companies, but the technology behind those companies uh, and what the future of technology, uh, how this infrastructure bill is going to drive, uh, not necessarily jobs, but the tech, the skills that you're going to need to acquire these jobs. Uh, that's going to be super important. Uh, as we continue, because, you know, you, you're talking about a lot of money. You're talking about over the next four years. You know, everybody's screaming environmental uh, changes and climate change. What does that look like? Um, also, what does it look like with, you know, we have this big heat wave, all right? Uh, How is that going to affect, you know, certain parts of the country, uh, the fires, and so forth. I was I was looking at in the Siberian, uh, is it is it was it Siberian desert? It was it was Siberia. It was in Siberia where they're talking about this fire is still burning and has been burning um, for a very long time and has had had been going on for a very long time and eating up a lot of acres. So uh, just think about you know these things as you know you start to create companies and so forth. Yeah, I mean, we should do a giveaway. It is episode thirty. Um, I don't know. I don't know, D. What 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 are you thinking? Uh, for a giveaway, don't say a mug. <laughs> don't say a mug. Uh, and then what we what are we gonna do to celebrate that giveaway? Uh, I don't I don't know. What what are we uh? What's gonna be the question? So I'm from the website, yeah, yep. Yeah. So let's go back to the website. Um uh, Linux.org. All right. Let's go hit shop. And let's do all products. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Winter's coming up. How about? Do you want to do a gift card? Cause that'll be easy. Or a unisex hat. Oh, let me see. Somebody said a hoodie. Okay, you can do a hoodie. All right, what are we choosing for the question? Let's see. Um, I don't know. Uh, what? Let me think. Oh. I guess we could go with this. This, I mean, people who've been following me or following us um, should know these things. I think this would be a question that you can can answer. Uh, mm, you can look that up real quick. That may not be a good one. Mm, that may not be a good one. Omega Black, thank you so much. You know what, Omega Black? We just for that that comment right there, we're just gonna send you a pillow. That's what we're gonna do. All right. So Omega Black gets a pillow. Um, so let me think. In terms of 
what I want to, what I, the question I want to ask. Let's go with this question. Um, have I talked about this? I have um, on my meetups. I have talked about this in several different interviews. But let's just go with it because it's a simple, quick search to me that you can find. What college did I graduate from? You can really find that really quickly. What college did I graduate from? You can type it in the chat. Uh, we'll see. And if you're smart, you look it up. But what college did I graduate from? I talk about it all the time. Let me see if anybody got can get that. And this is for a hoodie. And it's actually kind of symbolic. If you add, if you if you think about it, undergrad. What college did I graduate from from undergrad? Universal Hawaii. No, I lived in Hawaii. But I didn't graduate. Sasha DeVry, correct. Went to DeVry. And people will um for lack of a better word, like shit on you about where you graduated from or where you went to school at the end of the day. Um it is all about your skill set and your ability to talk and navigate. Like being able to slay zeros and ones have has done me well. <laughs> has done me well. <laughs> okay. Your ability to say zeros and ones has done me well. Sasha, congratulations <laughs> uh, on that. It, it was the ride. Uh, and I talk about it all the time because a lot of people are like, oh, man, I got to go to school. I got to get these degrees. I got to get daughters. I like to tell you before I had my first job before I graduated from college. Um, I learned Linux while I was in Hawaii. Spent a lot of time uh, on, in, in Linux in, in Seattle because I was there for five years. But again, um, stack your skills, get your get your skills up. I, I talked about it last week on the stream. There's there's a difference in you selling your skill sets at fifty dollars, and then there's a difference in you selling your skills fifty dollars an hour, and then there's a difference in you selling your skill sets at five hundred dollars an hour. And if you think they're the same, then no, the core of those things, the foundation may be the same, but the skill sets that you add on to that is totally different. You can we can do the math on what does it mean to uh, get paid five hundred dollars an hour, and you know you may be working on a project for, say, you know let's go with two thousand hours. Let's just keep it at two thousand hours, or we can even keep it less than that. Let's say you worked on a project for, you know, uh, six months or something like that at five hundred dollars an hour. What does that look like? Or you may not charge by an hour. You may uh, charge by the project where you're like, okay, th this project is going to cost me this. This is how much we're going in, added as, and so forth. So, again, stack your skills. Totally different from 50 than, than 500. And I, the reason why I do tech stocks and jobs is so that you can get into the mindset of these companies or they're creating companies, um, and then they're taking um uh, 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 the, the, these different technologies and your skill sets and and building out, you know, from an entrepreneur spirit. But what is it? What does all of that take, right? You know what? You know what? If I get if I give you if I give you uh, four hundred thousand dollars right now, what are you gonna do with it? You know, like if I just wrote you a check, a blank check right now for four hundred thousand dollars. What kind of what are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna create a company? Are you gonna invest it? Are you gonna, you know, what are you gonna do with that? Right. So I just want you all to have the I the mindset and the wherewithal to say, hey, I can do these things, but I know I need to study, I know I need to network with people, I know I need to go out, you know, and and be in the room, right? Be in the conversation, right? Show up to the meetings. 
uh, go to the meetups, whether they're virtual or not. There are a lot of virtual meetups um, across the world, really, um, that you can attend. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about this more at 2 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock now. I'm sorry for breaking down. Let me get uh, 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 these uh, comments. Um, yep, yep. Uh, we pay, we pay our bills. Yep. Yep. I mean, some people, we, we, if you, you have to go back and look at some of our streams from last week, um, I can just, I'm gonna just pull this up so you can just grab and just look at it for right now. If you go to levels, uh, FY, um, I always, uh, and I think it's, I think it's blind. It's another one. It's another website, but you can come in here and you can look at different salaries uh where is my salary thingy that i was looking at before salaries um let's go by company you can come here i always like to use netflix as an example because i like to i like to have my money up front a lot of people like rsus i'm i get it i just don't like to wait for my money i like to get mine up front let me let me do a netflix thing here and this is just you know, for you to um, just have an idea, all right? Um, so they have different ones, 450, 610. Um, again, we, we've had people on, some of the some of the salaries can go up to a million five, same way with, um, same way with, with Google. Um, the reason why I like the ones in this, Netflix because again you see their base and then they have their stock but their base is, is huge so you know you get more up front um, when you're looking at that uh, we also talked about last week high frequency trading where some of those companies this one's out of Chicago are hiring high high, high frequency trading um, um, developers um, starting salaries up to 850,000 we've talked about um the how some of these salaries and it was an article that came out and I showed that article how some of these salary salaries are, are rivaling uh, uh you know people who are in the NBA you know, some of the NBA players so when we when I talk about you know sorry for going so fast talking about uh, stacking your your skills I really mean like stack your skills don't be afraid to put yourself out there um for whatever it's worth they're people are that that get sign on bonuses at a hundred thousand some people get sign on bonuses at 50 some get sign on bonuses at 200 some people get sign on get uh instead of negotiating a um a money they may sign up and get um you know their college paid for or they may get a house uh for a down payment on their house or they may get their kids tuition paid for i've talked about this before uh, but again make your money in tech let it grow and we'll catch you at two o'clock all right mm -mm -mm.